This past week ends with a train based in St. Bison, worked with a newly formed Leeds Chiefs side, who currently sit bottom of the league. Despite recent troubles, the visitors arrived late and with a short bench. Though despite this, they are ready and very to go for the opening puck shot. With the host, they get the best chances as the game started. As Ashley Tate's shot is stopped by Gospel with his shoulder before the goal is knocked loose. The host then would get the next opportunity as a pass finds Hallam in the slot before his effort is then blocked by a Leeds defender. Next was Bailey Harewood for the herd as he's able to dance his way past the opposition defence before backhanding an effort off the post. And again the Stampede charge in the zone as a pass is fed to Kleshner on the back post but his effort is then stopped by Gospel. Now it'll be the Leeds Chiefs who get an opportunity as they're able to collect the puck in the corner before feeding it to the Liam Charnock for a simple backdoor finish. The host would charge down the ice once more though, but as the puck finds its way to Harding in the high slot, it's one time effort before she flies wide of the goal. This wouldn't deter the hosts as they continue to push and look for an equalising goal. This time though, Pleasure has his shot stopped by Gospel's shoulder. Bison continues to push, but this time Paul Petz is unable to hit the target and his shot is fired wider than that. <laughs> Leeds now get their own opportunity as they split the Bison defence, but Messim is able to block the shot with his shoulder and the puck goes over the net. The host now up for pressure as they move the puck around the Leeds defence, eventually finding its way to Jake Hing on the point, but his shot is blocked in front of the net and poached behind. Now Baldwin hurries to put up the ice for the visitors, but his shot is knocked away by Messam stick. <laughs> Quickly though, Bison come back down the ice, but Gosper was able to hatch the shot with the glove and hold on for the whistle. <laughs> and as play neared the final minute of the first period, Josh Kelly fires a shot from the point. Gospel stops the first effort before the rebound is knocked back onto his pads. Ashley Tate then collects it, goes behind the net and plays it in front. The resulting shot though is then blocked in front of the net.
Now his play heads into the set period. It'd be lead to start off with his as the shot goes wide of the mark and ends up in the corner. The host then gets a chance as Hardy fires a shot at Gospel. As Podowski looks to tip it in front, but unfortunately for the host, Gospel is able to hold on. Leads then work the putt down low, but as the shot comes in, Messi is able to challenge it at the top of the race, and the herd are able to break back up the ice. Now 4-4, four four, the herd charge up the ice as Harding shoots. Gus was again able to make the save with his shoulder to deflect the putt away from the goal. But with Leeds in control of the putt on their own goal line, they spy a pass up the ice to Adam Barnes, who is able to settle it down before inverting the breakaway opportunity, giving the visitors a two-goal push -on. Jake Hing now works the putt down low for the Bison before laying it off to Wardowski, who rings a shot off the post. With the power play, the herd work the puck back into the zone as they look for a way back into the game. As the puck is worked to Ashley Tate on the point, he fires a shot. Ryan Sutton deflects it in front, and despite claims a high stick, the goal stands. And with it being the host's first goal of the game, it's time for the annual Teddy Bear Toss as they rain down from the stands. Once play then got back underway, Pleasure harried the puck down the right wing, playing it into Hallam, but his effort misses the target. Dre then brings the puck up the ice once more, but his shot is stopped by Gospel, and Hallam is unable to connect on the rebound. The Vicious then go on the attack once again. So then Charnock gets his second, this time from a one-time effort from the left face-off dock. Bison will give up though, as Ralph fires a shot at Gospel. Kelly picks up the loose putt, plays it back through the slot but no one is able to finish the play off. And with the host trailing by two goals to a short bench Leeds team, who surely will be tiring at this stage in the game, Bice would look to be able to turn it around with a big third period. It starts off well for them, as Elliot Drew is able to bring it back to a single goal game between the two sides, early in the third, as he's able to jump on the rebound in front of the net. The herd will continue to press as the puck finds its way to Kleshner on the back door, but Bentham for the Chiefs is able to deflect the shot onto the post, keeping his side in the lead. Oh, oh, oh. 
Leeds then go on the offence as they jack feeds a pass through the slot, but Messi is able to come up with the save. Oh, Messi then works it his way into the attacking zone before passing it towards Harding and Wilson, who are both unable to finish it off. Barnes is then able to work it out the ice to the Chiefs before Metin is able to stop it once more. And again Leeds work the putt up the ice before firing a shot at Metin, who gives up a big rebound back to Ethan Hehe, who is able to convert his second effort. Bison will charge back again as Adam Jones carries the putt up the ice over the blue line for releasing a heavy slap shot that works its way through Gospel's pads and away from the goal. Oh. Ashley takes passes then intercepted in the Bison end as the Chiefs look to add another but Metam is equal to the shot this time. Leeds then heap up the pressure as the putt is hepped in and then work to the point but they are unable to invite the rebound as the putt goes wider than that. But full credit to the visitors as they again work the putt down on the boards but the shot is stopped and flies over the netting seeing a short bench Leeds side take the two points after a hard work game. <laughs> 